How you doing? I'm Luke. I'm a cloud consultant engineer and today we're going to be talking about what isn't cloud consulting. So when you see people online, and this is what motivated me to do this video, talk about cloud consulting. They always talk about how you go in to a big client's office, you find what are the problems, right? And then you do a bit of discovery to find this out, blah, blah, blah. And then you implement a solution, and bam, you're now the king, right? I solved everyone's problems. Now, a lot of problems here. One, the organization is not set up such that the same guy doing the discovery does the implementation. That isn't always the case, especially not for engineers, right? Number two is Mr. Client. Mr. Client's probably split into a bunch of different programs if it's a big client. Each program is filled with a bunch of projects, right? Because that's kind of how it generally works, right? And so your thing that you're doing is probably for this part of this project. At a push, maybe the project. But what it means is you have to then manage the stakeholders, and this is why stakeholder management is such a big point, is that you have to then manage these stakeholders here. So these levels of red tape, as it were, then these levels of red tape. And then the thing is, is that clients themselves, this guy, he'll be overseeing like this chunk, this guy, he'll be overseeing this, this guy will be overseeing here. So then you come along and you're like, right, how do I fix it? Who do I talk to? And he's like, oh, you talk to him. And he's like, oh, you talk to him. And he's like, oh, you talk to him. And then there's a guy actually here and there's a guy who owns this bit, but then he doesn't really, but he's a different type of manager. So you need to kind of get acquainted with corporate structures, right? So the first thing is you're engineering. So you're not necessarily in the full process. Secondly, there's corporate structure in place. And thirdly, is that even if you are coming along here and you're maybe doing loads of different bits here, you've got all this figured out, is that most projects don't come in. There's a thing called a landing zone, which is what you'll get set up if you're first migrating to the cloud, is that this landing zone with all these services and stuff and you're getting in from scratch, making brand new Terraform files and stuff, this isn't always the case. Most of the time, it will be existent. Now that will be because either A, you'll be coming in as an engineer to an existing team. So we've got an existing team and you're joining them and trying to get up to speed. And at this time, you also need to talk to clients. So you need to kind of like somewhat blag how much you know, right? So is that you might not be brought in for this new migration, what's your problem? I'm here to fix it. You can often be brought in when they're like, right, listen, this is the problem. We need this moved here. That's it. So you're not moving it to the cloud and re-architecting it going, oh, that would look cool and we'll use this new service and we'll bring in some AI processing. No, they're literally like, mate, we have this thing here. All we want to do is move it from our on-prem data center because they're kicking us out because our contract's up and we think it'll be probably cheaper to go in the cloud or at least that's the initiative that's scattered down from the seal suite that we should go cloud first. So move that box from here into the cloud, bam. And in this journey, moving it into the cloud, you might be brought along in this full journey. You might be plopped in here or here or even here, but still it's not necessarily this big start from scratch thing that you think it's going to be. You could be writing some Terraform. You could be making some pipelines, right? Some like ADO pipelines or something. Or you could literally just be coming in to click resources about in the cloud. So it's not coming in, finding a problem, discovering a solution. It is oftentimes, just like any other job, picking up tickets and working through them, which includes talking to people and writing some code or clicking some stuff. Anyway, that's enough. If you want to hear more about cloud consultants, subscribe to the channel. 
I'll see you later. Take care.